Sorry I'm late. I was uh I was a little late getting off the Peloton. And then I had to set up some stuff for the stream. And then I went to put on my pants and I realized that the cat threw up on my pants. That's that's the eleven minutes of uh of Delta you're missing there. So I had to I had to put my pants in the laundry and then put some all-purpose cleaner on the floor around where the pants were, and then I had to take my belt out of the belt loop, and then I had to put new pants on and put the belt in the belt loop, and there you are. The very same pants I was returning. Exactly true. When you run him for prime minister, hopefully never. If I ever run for public office, it probably means that I've been compromised by like a foreign government or something like that. And then they've forced me to run so that they can have someone with their best interest in mind on uh, like in a seat in power. I really don't want to do it. I would vote for you. Well, then you're part of the problem. Honestly, that's how we got into this damn mess. I would vote for Malf. I don't know. Here's the thing. I think I, I share a lot of values with Malf, but I do also feel like he's quite vengeful. Like, I feel like if someone wronged him, like, he would, he would bury them. I feel like that if you align with him in your principles and your values, it might be great. But if you are, like, uh, if you're opposed to him in values, like, he will send you to the, to the chokey for sure. What's great about that criticism is he can't respond to it. Because if he says, that's true, then I'm right. And if he says, that's false, I can be like, whoa, whoa, hey, no, Malfi, don't put me in the chokey. Don't put me in the chokey. Hey, stop. Miscellanea. Um, Peloton was 90 minutes, 170 watts. The bike did freeze for two minutes in the middle of one of the rides. And I, again, started concocting a tweet in my head about how I'm going to throw this thing in the garbage and, and buy a Wahoo kicker and start racing on Zwift instead. Um, did go to Costco last night. Uneventful trip. But somebody said, hey, stop eating the Golden Island jerky. That's more carbs than protein, which is crazy. And uh, get the Kirkland Signature steak strips. Oh, baby. Great intel, thank you. They are pretty, pretty good. It is weird that after you open them within three days, they have to go in the fridge. But anyway, they're still taste. It's just beef. Shit is just beef. It is not more expensive. It's it's cheaper per hundred grams. So it might be more expensive, absolute, but on a per capita basis. That's about it. I watched uh, the first hour and 20 minutes of The Suicide Squad, not the 2016 one or 2017 one, but the James Gunn one. And honestly, I, I think I might be inclined to say, I haven't seen the ending yet, I might be inclined to say my favorite DC Cinematic Universe movie by uh, two orders of magnitude. Greatly in, enjoyed my time with the movie so far. Will I ever finish it? I don't know. But <laughs> I made it far enough in that, like, it's popping off. John Cena kind of funny. I love peace with all my heart, and I don't care how many men, women, or children I have to kill to get it. Anyway, let's get the tier lists going here. We do So here's the docket for today. We're going to do the execution tier list. Um... And then we're going to do a sponsored stream for a game that has Twitch interactions. It is a real-time strategy game um, where you make moves simply by typing. Like you type words and the, they play out on the screen. Um, you will be able to type as well. I don't know whether it helps me or it hinders me or what. But you should just be able to type in chat and... Um, and possibly get yourself, uh, get your name up in lights. And uh, then after that, we'll have like an hour and a half, maybe. And we'll figure out what we're going to do in that time. It might be big ambitions, but I'm going to be honest. I don't know how many times we've been through this uh, rigmarole. The big ambitions fans need to shut the fuck up. There was like more ambition, more big ambitions last week than any other game that we played. And then there hasn't been Big Ambitions for like three days. And it's gone from like, will Big Ambitions come back? To please play Big Ambitions. To rip Big Ambitions, we hardly knew you. Like, just relax. Know, know what you've got while you've got it, okay? 
This is what, they, like, 30% of half of what kills games that are going well. It's like anytime you're not playing that, people are like, oh, please play that. No, just wait till we're playing it and then come in and type Pog. Sap fans are the worst? Bro, they don't exist. There are Sap tolerators. That's, that's all we got. What do you mean Sap fans are the worst? Then why play it? Because I like it. If you think you can do what I do, buddy, the start streaming button is right there. Some of you weren't around in 2011, okay? When in, there wasn't just OBS, click start streaming. You had to oh, get Adobe Media, Flash Media Live Encoder. Type in some Eldritch Runes into the settings menu to trick your computer into thinking that you're just going on to a video call, but instead you're streaming to eight people fucking playing Gary's Mod with Fraps. 40-minute video is 75 gigabytes. Take that shit, import it into Sony Vegas, render it down. It takes like nine hours to render down to a 10-minute and one-second long video. Holy cow. <clears throat> Slash marker. Ways to die in Minecraft. We got a tier list today that was theorized last week. I'd like to thank you, Watanabe, also known as the Library of Laterno, for making this and, and also making it... Um, Family friendly. I mean, it's it's family friendly um, <laughs> in images, at least. It's not necessarily family friendly in terms of the actual content. But hey, we're adults here. We're just having a conversation. We're not saying like any of this is is good. Um, we're having a conversation about what would be the worst ways uh, to be executed for a crime. Okay. Now I'm I'm just telling you out of some of these. Some of these I'm not familiar with. Okay. Like, for example, I'm not familiar with what it means to, to have a Dementor's Kiss. Um, blowing from a gun? Doesn't sound so bad. Buried Alive by Mr. Beast? <laughs> Airlock Ejection? I also don't know what Poena Kule... Anyone that's in that I don't know, but it's in English and, like, not from Harry Potter, I know I'm in trouble. Um, like... What is scaphism? That this appears to be a bird eats your flesh bit by bit? Something like that? Yes. All right. Well, let's get started, okay? Now, listen, none of these are good. I would rather not die, and if I die, I would rather not be executed, obviously. Um, but we're, we're just simply ranking what would be the worst ones. I don't think it's a hot take to say that there are some ways to die that are better than others or to, to be executed. That's why, like, we now have, like, humane, more humane ways to do it. We don't just say, like, oh, like, your time has come. We're going to bury you up to your neck in uh, sand and then have, like... Uh, Mbappe kick your head off into the soccer goal, right? That's all I have to, there's there's more humane ways that confer less pain onto the the victim and then there's less humane ways. Okay. Speaking of which, I mean the the one of the obvious factors that I think is at play here is um the length of your suffering. And crucifixion would be one of the worst. Well, it would be maybe not one of the worst, but it would be close to the bottom of uh, ways that I would want to die. Um, just chilling there for as long as it took to to expire via dehydration, or or I don't even know. It it, it definitely seems like like misery. So like th this this. I'm I'm just trying to set the tone here. This is the worst. And then, like, this is the best, but still pretty bad. <laughs> they're, they're all pretty bad, though. Um, I would put myself here. Probably this is second from the bottom. Burning. Burning to death. This is a tough one. It's extremely painful. But it is at least over quickly. I would probably rather burn to death and die in 
45 seconds or something like that. It's not quick. It's very quick compared to, compared to some of the things on the list. Certainly very quick compared to um, the Ark. Well, I guess it's slower than the Ark of the Covenant face melting, but it's, it's quicker than like having your flesh torn limb from limb by little birds. I mean, that could take like a week. I still think at the very least, I'm not saying it's great, but this would be perhaps at least better than being crucified. Breaking wheel. Now, am I correct in the assumption that, that breaking the wheel is... Um, this is when you have all of your limbs broken by a wheel and then they kind of crucify you on the wheel itself and leave you there? More or less, that's correct. Okay. So this is basically like being crucified but also having your bones broken in advance. I'd have to say that that's probably like worse than <laughs> being, just being crucified. Keep in mind, we're talking about like we're comparing zero out of tens to zero out of tens, okay? I'm not, because I don't want anybody, because I'm being defensive because when I did the animal tier list, I've been forced to defend myself from bad faith attacks for like a month. I'm just trying to, every five seconds, I'm just letting you know none of these are good. <clears throat> The electric chair. This was actually like what inspired um, this in the first place. Was that how we were talking about, we were doing the chair tier list. And I thought like dying in the electric chair, it's crazy that it happened like in the 20th century. Maybe even like once or twice in the 21st century. It's pretty disturbing. Like A, you're getting shot by a bolt of lightning that has been harnessed by mankind itself. Like, there's something almost occult about that. Like, it's Frankenstein style. And then, um, I, I think, like, the anticipation would, would be the worst part. I mean, the electrocution would probably be the worst part, but the, the anticipation would also be, like, really, really bad. Because you'd just be, like, waiting for the bolt of lightning to hit you. But compared to the other ways on the list... It's at least not, it's not the worst. I mean, if I'm being honest, I would probably rather have that than be burned to death. Yeah, I think that makes sense. I don't know if I'd put it in acceptable. I mean, some of these are, are downright acceptable. As far as I'm concerned, having your head chopped off by the executioner is like, it's pretty acceptable. They could have done a lot worse. Oh, cool. It's Psycho Day? Yeah, like a little bit. Um, drowning? I think, obviously, this would be not great. Um, I think for me, one of the things that I look for in not... in, in choosing a preferred execution style, one of the things that bothers me is knowing that you're going to die, like, more than a few seconds before actually dying. Like, if there's a firing squad, you know you're going to die, but, like, it's just, like, it's lights out, basically. This one, you would be, like, struggling and, like, have some hope or something like that, and then you'd be, like, you'd, you'd have, like, you'd have to give up. That doesn't sound nice to me. That being said... I mean, to, to be honest with you, it's, it's tough for me to say that I would rather burn than drown. But, I mean, maybe I, I, would, I would probably rather drown than burn, but... Are you taking chance of failure in, for this? No, absolutely no. You're no. There is no escape, okay? This is not a, like, would you rather question with your friends in third grade. You know, there's no like, oh, I would simply um, dodge the bullet from the firing squad. And then they'd be like, you're free to go. You know, this is like, you're not going to mind trap your way out of this. We're having an adult conversation here. It's serious business. Firing squad, just going to go ahead and say it, that I feel like it's acceptable. 
yet again, I would rather not, especially if it's by someone from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I would rather not be killed or executed. But if I had to be executed, Firing Squad is definitely better than any of the ones that we have had so far. Worse for the guy shooting you, though? What do I care? Fuck that guy. He's killing my ass. He should... <laughs> I hope he regrets it for the rest of his life. I hope, I hope he suffers incredible trauma. I hope it rips his life apart from the inside out, okay? I, if I could haunt his ass, I, I could. Similarly, I mean, I would have to say acceptable. I think you just kind of like, it's, it's despair, but then maybe you just fall asleep. But it's not great. No, it's the worst. You boil from the inside out. All right, well, let's put it down here instead then. <laughs> it's, it's like drowning. All right, let's put it next to it then. The guillotine. The guillotine is an acceptable way to die. It's not as bad as... It's, it's better... Wait, let me rephrase. It's worse than the firing squad because they have to drag you up on stage and you're probably like being shouted at the whole time by the crowd. The crowd's probably going like, ah! And you're like struggling and stuff and then they get you in the, the stocks or whatever and then you got to wait for like the roller coaster to start. But, but then it's, it's pretty quick at least. At least. I just don't like any word that sounds like it's from, like, Middle England. Like, keel hauling? What is keel hauling? This is actually French? It's when you're dragged behind a boat. You're dragged under a boat. Oh, this is like if you were like a mutineer or something like that. I would say that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's like, um, is drowning plus uh, like physical trauma from the barnacles and the, and the other detritus under the ship? I would still say, is, I mean, breaking the wheel has got to be like, the worst, man. I mean, maybe getting eaten alive by birds is worse, but lethal injection. This is like the only way that we still do the death penalty in North America. Now, I'm, I'm not trying to maybe make an uh, appeal to authority here, but like we're more humane. Now. A lot of people are going to disagree with this. We're more humane now than we used to be. Like, nobody now is like, oh, that was a heinous crime. Like, put him in the breaking wheel. We're, we're past that, at least for now. Now, depending on how things go societally, maybe it's more like uh, we go up and then we go down. But I think that this, this has to be up there then. I mean, it's still, I would definitely rather have it than be electrocuted to death, for sure. It is disturbing, I guess, but I don't know. Like, I mean, this is not an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, but it's kind of how I felt going into my testicular surgery. They were like, you're probably going to be fine, but there's like, a, you know, like a one in a hundred thousand chance that you just don't wake up from the anesthesia. And I was like, bye, mom and dad. They're going to slice, best case scenario, they slice up my scrotum a little bit. They said that to a 13-year-old? No, I was 16. That's what they said for my vasectomy? Bro, they don't even put you asleep for your vasectomy, right? They just, don't they just numb your, your area? Corey and I know, literally, we don't even need the anesthesia if we had it done. We could just sit on the bike seat for 90 minutes. Okay, what the heck is pina colala? <laughs> Coleli. <laughs> what is, what is, po is poeta Coleli? I'm getting lost in the rain. 
if you're not into yoga. Oh, wait, hang on. Hmm. Uh, just, just from the length of this description, I'm like, this can't be good. Sewn up in a leather sack with an assortment of live animals, including a dog, snake, monkey, and a chicken or rooster. All right. I mean, that's like, it's really bad. Um, <laughs> people were messed up back in the day. What is this from? Like the 1920s? Um, I'd probably say that hell is a better alternative. I don't know how it compares to breaking the wheel. Then thrown in the water if you kill the animals. I mean, I guess you could you could beat the animals, but like, even then you're... I mean, we're splitting hairs, but I guess I would rather just drown than drown in a sack. Like, that feels more merciless to me. I don't know. It's pretty bad. Which one is drawing and which one is quartering? Is it drawing is when you get cut in half and then the quarter is when they do like one more? They're always together, you know? It's like a crisscross. Drawing is when they... <laughs> I thought this... t really this is making me uncomfortable, man. This is a terrible idea. Just it's pretty, I'm, my mood is like so down versus where I started the stream. <laughs> Just reading about all these horrific ways to that that people died in like the Middle Ages just for like being like I think ice is less dense than water. They were like, all right, tie them up, tie them up to the horses. <clears throat> we'll we'll do like a palate cleanser after this. All right, I mean quartering. It's pretty bad. I'm just guess. I think that chopped to death is just a good way to think about this. It's pretty bad. I mean, to be honest with you, I think I would probably put it I would put it somewhere down here, pretty close to the bottom. Definitely not something I'd be super interested in in being involved with. Uh yeah, speaking of which, tied to like a post and then having my flesh torn strip by strip off my body until I died. Um, it's gotta be like, it might even be worse than having a professional break your limbs because it's just birds instead. They don't even know what they like. They have no mercy. So that one's pretty low. Um, stoning. Stoning is like, it would be pretty bad. You're dying to like repeated blunt force trauma. I think, you know, what would be the worst part of this for me? Like, I really want to, and not everybody gets this luxury and maybe I won't either. You never know. But, like, I want to go out, like, at peace. I don't want, like, my last thoughts on Earth to be, like, it really do be your own. I can't imagine, like, living in a community with people for your entire life. And then, like, they get whipped into a frenzy. And then they kill you with rocks. Like, that would feel spiritually... Physically, obviously, that would feel so bad. But spiritually, that would, that would be the worst last thought in your brain, like, as you went down. You know, like, when you get gaslit in Among Us, or, or when the rest of the lobby gets gaslit, and they're like, oh, Ryan's definitely, he was, he, I saw him schmoove, he was suss-walking in admin, and you're like, I wasn't! I wasn't! Like, it would be like that, but on permadeath. I don't, I think it would be, it would be a horrendous way to go spiritually. It's probably not as bad as having birds tear your flesh, like, limb from limb. But it's, like, pretty bad. I would... Somewhere in there, I'd say. Project Winter traumatized this man. It's true, man. It's true. Hanging? How many more of these are there? At least most of the remainder are, like, fiction there. <laughs> Like, I don't know what being D-classed is, but, or a Dementor's Kiss, but at least no one's ever gotten the Dementor's Kiss in real life. This shit is bumming me out, man. Um, hanging. It's definitely bad. I mean, I kind of, I, I would think of it like maybe the same as drowning. Boiled alive. Really bad. Like, like worse than burning, for sure. It's 
pretty bad. I would probably say like it's got to be close to the bottom. Boiled alive in I mean it's basically asking you would you rather be boiled or sautéed? Um I honestly don't know. They're both pretty bad. I, I I'm going to put them pretty close together. Room with a gun and this song. The song is Super Mario Sunshine, Delfino Plaza, but it never begins. So that that would just go. But it would never go. Bring 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 bring. Um. I mean that's a joke. I'd probably put it up here. At the end of the day, it is a gun. Could be worse. It could be boiled alive in a room with that song playing. Um, plus, I think I could just chill in there for a while. Um, sawing. Pretty bad. But I would definitely rather be... I mean, it would be insanely painful. I would probably rather be sawed than boiled alive, though. It's crazy to think that magicians do this every day. Starvation. <clears throat> Starvation is kind of a tough one. It takes a long time. It's definitely torturous. It would take like three, uh, three weeks, right? Some, they always say like three minutes without oxygen, three days without water. Three weeks without food. I mean, it's bad, but I feel like... I don't know. I almost... I don't want to be like, oh, dying of starvation is mid. Like, that's a nasty out-of-context clip. I think at least, like... I, I do feel like I have to put it in mid. Like, I'm not, again, I'm not saying this would be pleasant. I'm just saying, like, at the end of the day, at least, like, while you're starving, you could watch Netflix or something. Like, it's not as bad as being dragged under a, a barnacle-ridden boat or something like that. Like, again, we're splitting hairs between, like, awful fates. Strangling. Again, for me, this is in like the drowning tier. I would hate to like know that I was dying so long in advance of actually dying. Buried alive. I don't even know. This is like 10 different deaths in once in one. Like it's it's dying of dehydration or like suffocation or starvation. Is Mr. Beast in there with you? <laughs> it's so good. My, Mr. Beast is built different. By the way, caveat, I've not seen a single Mr. Beast video in my entire life. But I'm assuming he was buried alive for uh, a YouTube video. My ass would never trust anyone to do that. I'm not even, like, there's an infinitesimal chance that, like, they would just leave me down there to die. But, like... Something could go wrong. You know how YouTubers are. For two days? That's crazy. There's no... I, I just wouldn't give... I, I wouldn't needlessly put my life in anyone's hand like that. In, in anyone's hands like that. Yeah, they could accidentally... Like, when they're digging me out, they could, like, put the shovel through my forehead or something like that. Like, it's just... I don't know. I... <laughs> I wouldn't be happy. I just, I, I don't trust anybody this much, even though the, the, there's such a small chance that they would, like, leave me to die. Anyway. I mean, this is pretty bad. I, but I, you know what? I honestly think it's kind of in the same tier here. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> I, I, it, it, these are things that are like, this is like, if I gotta go, sure. This is like, uh, I guess it could be worse. 
this is like, I'm not, I don't feel great about this, but I guess there's no way to win. And then these are like, please God, no. Poisoning? I mean, I definitely, my understanding of poisoning is essentially that, by the way, thank you everybody for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. You guys are sick if you're subscribing for this content, but you're sick. Um, poisoning? I'm just going to go ahead and say that's like mildly disturbing. I, I think you could have some poison that is like really bad. You could have some poison that's pretty quick. But by and large, I think maybe it's in the, like the same tier here. Turned into a vampire and exposed to sunlight. That's got to be like right next to burning. Maybe it's better because at least you're... Um, Ridding the world of a, uh, of a suckhead, but still. Vaporized? I mean, this is the best. To have Dr. Manhattan just point at you and all of your atoms scatter instantaneously? I mean, this is the dream. This might be a little too much for some people. This is probably better than just about any way that you could actually die naturally. Like, of, of natural causes. This might actually be like in a, in a tier above. I'm getting a lot of plus twos. Yeah, this is like in your sleep, basically. Airlock ejection. It depends if it like freezes you instantly or if it's like um, in Total Recall where like their eyes are popping out of their heads and stuff like that. But don't you like implode or something or explode? Your lungs call. Okay, this seems pretty bad. Also, to know that it, it was my own that did it to me. I guess that would be pretty bad, too. I don't know if it's as bad as, as stoning, though. Maybe I'd put it, like, like here? I want to see Chibli do this list. Let's see if he can maintain a, a coherent mood throughout. <laughs> oh. Ants. Definitely, I would say, like, pretty much as bad as, as the birds, honestly. Um, Ark of the Covenant face melting. I gotta be honest with you here. I'd say it's probably just mildly disturbing. They, you, with this, it, it's been a while since I've seen the movie. Didn't seem fun, but you do die in, like... I mean, your face melts, but you die in, like, 15 seconds. It's not as good as getting... Uh, you know, atomized by Dr. Manhattan, but you know you're dying, though? Yeah, for like a second. I mean, it, with, within the relative context of this list, that doesn't seem that bad. They were screaming? Yeah, they're dying. Like, it's again, it's all bad. It's not like one of the options is like getting sucked off to death. Like, and you're like, well, you really put it in the same tier as getting sucked off to death? Like, they're all bad. <laughs> There's no Xenia on a top, you know, cowgirl pelvis crushing. You know, you just... What is blowing from a gun? Is this like being shot out of a cannon or shot with a cannon? Human cannonball? I would say that's not great. I don't know, man. It's kind of... How many times... This is like a real... They should give this test to, like, secret agents. If a secret agent can do this tier list and still... Because, you know, after, like, the 30th time you've asked yourself, would I rather be shot out of a cannon or die in an electric chair? Your brain is just like, what the hell are you doing? I don't know. I guess... I'm not the kind of guy who considers like a, uh, that this would be like, oh, a cool ride and then I would die. Like I would be terrified while I was flying as well. Um, so I think this is probably like, if I'm being real with you, I probably would rather do it than drown, but it would still be pretty, I wouldn't be happy with it. Crushing. So this doesn't seem like, like a boulder fell on this guy. 
I'm so happy we're getting into the media ones, man. <laughs> it's the first 30 were too much. <laughs> the ones that are just from the from movies, I can I can handle that. Okay. Oh, I think we're through the worst of it. So this is like they just put increasing amounts of of bells on you until your 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 body gives up. Um that's really bad. Yeah, I would put this, I mean, I'm going to say like maybe in the boiled alive tier. I think I would probably rather be crushed than boiled. But it's really getting to the point that's like, I'm not going to be happy about it either way. Let's be honest. Um, what is D-classed? This is an SCP, right? What, what, what kind of SCP is it, though? Any horrible SCP death? Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I'd probably say that, like, you know, people's imaginations are pretty worse. Pretty, pretty much worse than anything that's ever existed in real life, I suppose. So, yeah, we'll put that in there. Could be literally just insert... This is like a wild card. Um... The Menther's Kiss. Now, as someone who was based in the year 2000, I have never read Harry Potter long enough to get to where Dementors were even a thing. I was still, I, it was Professor Quirrell was still a good guy the last time I, I was into Harry Potter. Um, your, your soul gets sucked out by a reaper. Someone sucks out your soul. I'm going to guess this is probably something takes less than a minute. Probably feels pretty bad spiritually. I don't know. I'd say it's about as bad as being shot from a cannon, I suppose. <laughs> Grafted onto Godric? I don't know. Am I crazy to think that that doesn't seem that bad? It's pog, but horrifying? Well, like, you're not... Listen. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out, do you even... Are you dead? Or are you, like, an eternal kind of life as part of his body, as, as part of the collective. You're just chilling there for centuries? Honestly, like, that doesn't seem that bad to me. I know people are like, it's worse because you're like eternally doing the same thing over and over. I told you, it's, I'm, I'm definitely on the side that imagines Sisyphus to be happy because what else can you do? What's he going to do, live forever and be sad? I think I could find a way to, like, at least enjoy this. I'm not, like, I don't know. I'd have to, well, you're dead? Well, okay, then how are you dying? Are you dying due to the graft? It seems like this guy's got, like, 800 axes or something. He probably just chops you up in, like, two hits, and then you're dead. That's, that doesn't seem that bad. I maybe put it, like, up here with the Ark of the Covenant face melting. Ill-tempered sea bass without a laser beam on its head. Um, definitely, I mean, just as a, as an, a substitute, being eaten alive by fish overall, let's say it's pretty bad. I think it's not as bad as birds, you know, in a weird way, because the birds are not ill-tempered. They're just following like metabolic processes. In a weird way, I would rather get killed by a mean animal than like an animal that's just dispassionately eating me for sustenance. Because at least these guys are like, they're mad and they're going to hopefully finish the job fast. The birds are like, oh, I'm full. I'll be back in two days. So I think this maybe is not as bad as the birds, at least. Loopard. Is, so I'm going to assume that Loopard is in any way being killed by your... <laughs> sorry, spoilers. <laughs> <clears throat> Loopard is being killed by your past or future self to be, to, to be sent back in time to kill yourself. I would like to think that this has got to be close to the top because I think past or future me would kill me mercifully. Like, they would have mercy in the manner that they did it. They would not be like, guess what? You're getting boiled alive. <laughs> and if you lost, like I think if you lost combat to somebody like in the gladiatorial arena and they killed you, you would be like, oh, not only did I die, I'm a scrub. 
But if like if I got beaten by me in combat and then killed, my last thought would be like, of course I beat me. Like I'm I'm awesome, you know. If you gotta go down to somebody, you would you'd rather it be yourself probably. GG's me. We don't go again. Um, magnetic collar from Wild Wild West. So basically, if you try to breach the containment zone, um, a saw blade gets shot at you, and because you have a, an incredibly powerful magnet on your neck, it just keeps attracting it. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, this is kind of like a guillotine. But like, I think this is better because I could just, I could choose my moment. I'm not like, oh, I showed up at 10 a.m., but then I'm like, it's 10.45 and my ass is still sitting in the stocks, right? I could be like, it's 10 a.m., it's my, you know, chop, chop. You could just chill for a little bit. It's worse because you're in Wild Wild West. There's some fun stuff in that movie, The Spider. Midsummer cliff dive. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta check on my messages here briefly. I got it because I got it. We got something coming up next. The sponsor is begging for the love of God. Please don't do this. In con this is so messed up. What are you doing? No, I'm joking. <laughs> We're just trying to figure out how to make sure the Twitch integration is, is on and ready to go. I'm telling you though, don't do this tier list. Only do the ones that are like ways to die in a movie. That would be way better. Because then these are things that are like, you know, they didn't really happen, kind of. I don't know if anybody's ever had their face melted off by like the Ark of the Covenant. Don't do the real ones. I did this I, just because I, I thought it would be funny and I was so wrong. So, I mean, some of these are humorous, I guess. Midsummer cliff dive. So this is like falling and then having your head crushed by a giant hammer. That's really bad. That's pretty bad. Let's <laughs> say this is probably... Um, I mean, I don't want to fall in the first place, and I also don't want to have my head crushed with a giant hammer. I'd put this about on par with the airlock ejection, honestly. I would rather be shot out of a cannon. You'd be old anyway? Yeah, but it wouldn't be like... <laughs> still wouldn't be fun. Molten gold... It's really bad. I gotta move burning down, man. Cause like, this is all like. Realize like I thought burning wasn't that bad, but I'm like molten gold is close to the worst. But like this might even be better, cause like it would suck really bad, but at least it would be over faster. So I'll put this somewhere up here. Sarlacc pit. Now, this is where I was going to say it's not that bad because you get, like, eaten pretty quick or something like that. But then someone's going to be like, oh, actually, in the Thrawn Chronicles, the Sarlacc, like, when you get eaten, you don't get teleported, like, into the stomach. It's actually, like, there's a whole town inside of there, and you got to live your life inside of, like, a hydrochloric acid uh, pool. You get digested for a thousand years. Okay, Boba Fett was digested over eternity. Okay, slowly digested over eternity. All right, I'd probably say that's pretty bad. I'd probably rather have the birds get me. What the hell is suicide squatted? Because there's like... <laughs> there's a lot of death in that movie. Some people get shot. Oh, the, the bomb detonated in the base of your neck? Um... I would probably, I mean, that does, that seems like, I would say mildly disturbing because you know it's coming, but then it's over. It might, it might even be up here, honestly. It's the most merciful thing Viola Davis did in that movie. Instead, she could have said, like, we put some really, really hot canola oil at the base of your skull, and if you, uh, Go back on your mission, then we're going to break it and you're going to boil alive. And then table laser. Probably rather not be sliced in half um, bottom up by a laser. If I had to be sliced in half by a laser, I would definitely rather do it top down. <laughs> I'm 
going to go ahead and say that this would probably, this would be pretty bad. I would even put it like right there. All right. Slash marker me. Get this off my screen. Goodbye, <laughs> sanest streamer. I feel bad. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you, you Watanabe, for the gifted subscriptions. You know what? Sometimes you got to push the boundary to know where your line is. My stomach feels weird. I'm okay. And now think about how much messed up stuff we could talk about. And people will be like, is this your first time here? You weren't here for the execution tier list? Kama Sutra tier list? Listen, I'm actually not going to do that one. But like, come on. How many positions are in the Kama Sutra? There's like hundreds, right? I mean, at some point, they're just... <laughs> it's like when a video game has like 17 different modes, but everybody only plays like Team Slayer, right? You're like, come on. You didn't need... You, you got Team Slayer, you got uh, Griff Ball, and you got Capture the Flag. What more do you need? Reverse Griff Ball? Okay, fine. Reverse Griff Ball. But come, now you, you... What do you... Oh, it's Team Slayer, but you can... You know, it's Cops and Robbers. It's... How, come on! Like... Listen, I'll give you like... Maybe like seven? Maybe? But like 40 plus? That's crazy. Some of those, they just seem like a, an injury risk, honestly. Oddball. <laughs> sure. Aren't Oddball and Griffball like the same thing? That's what I'm saying. Like, 40 plus? Like, come on, man. I don't want it to be like, uh, it's like a game of Twister or something like that, right? Could you mix it up in a different way? You know, one-handed. Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. You don't have to, you know, it's, what, what's, what's the flying lotus? <laughs> the, the, the iron lotus? The move from uh, Blades of Glory? Okay, well, let's get this off my screen. I don't want to look at it ever again. He is gaming. He's hacking the mainframe. Sorry, there's like... Listen, it's 10.04 a.m. Who, who's outside with this subwoofer-rich bass? I'm not even messing with you. It's a guy... It's, it's 10.03 in the morning. It's a guy with his windows all down in a in a aftermarket wrapped Tesla Model 3 and his hair is so slicked back that he looks like Scarface. It's 10 in the morning, brother. <laughs> He's, he dead ass just pulled out a McDonald's hamburger. He's eating it in his driver's seat with the music cranked. Holy cow. I gotta, I gotta close the window. That's what I needed after <laughs> after that tier list. Keep us posted? No, I feel weird about it now. Honestly, I think we should all just get along after doing that list. All right. <clears throat> Slash marker. Touch, type, tail. Wake up, honey. We're playing touch, type, tail. Thank you to Epic Games for the sponsorship. You can check it out for yourself, obviously, on my stream as well. You can also check it out for yourself. You can play alongside me in chat. It actually has Twitch integration. So what the heck is it? That's probably the first thing I should have said. It is a real-time strategy game, but you don't have to have 175 APM, click drag, control one, oh, all my zerglings are on one now, click drag, uh, could control two, all of my banelings are on uh, group two now. All you have to do is type. It's just based on the purest measure of gamer skill, your words per minute. Now, I don't know about you. These days, I'm probably sitting at Casually, 90, is if I had to guess. I would say I'm 9. If I really focus, if I get in the flow state, I can maintain triple digits for a bit. But I'm scared because I'm, I'm going to be playing, and I don't know if we're going against or if they're aiding me, but we're going up against an entity called Chat here, which has me frightened. Now, there is, as mentioned, there is Twitch integration. So I just want to make sure we got everything all set up. I'm reading from a, an image here. When Chat takes control of the game, Type any words you see on screen to have them type, to have them typed, yes. That makes sense. Cast spells by typing cast colon spell name. And a spell name could be scout, root, gold, stop time, teleport, 
plague or summon, and then you could summon a swordsman, a spearman, an archer, or a cavalry, and then use confirm. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> Did you get all that? You can also combine several commands into one by providing a space-separated list. You can use more than one slurp juice on a single ape. Now, I'm just going to take the screen off for a second and make sure my Twitch integration is, is indeed set up. There we go. The light is yellow. Yellow means go faster. Sanest Vancouver driver just dropped. I'm going into a skirmish real quick. Please don't cast uh, Salmonella or Campylo back there at me, please. Cast Plague. I literally just said, please don't do that. You know what? Even if, it, if, if it's messed up for the first one here, I need to figure out what I'm doing in the first place as well. What, what the heck have I done? I've entered a skirmish here against, against Rumpel. Skirmish. Let me, let me play on hard, also known as the normal difficulty setting. And I'll start in Glenford. Beginnings. Control 10 or more units, start game. Once we get a little feeling for what's going on, then we can, we can start to have Chad uh, throw me for a loop. King Carl, I get the picture. All right. Mine gold crates. I've typed souls successfully. Stri World's most competent streamer typed one word successfully. Typing the word above a building opens a subscreen which lets you interact with that building. N. Holy cow. Are you seeing this? Go faster. Bro, go faster. Three of 40 gold. I have to mine... I have to mine six gold crates. He's done it. Okay. Paul, what are you doing in my swamp? I told you countless times not to trifle with my instruments. Actually, your fingers, they are astonishingly nimble. I've never before seen their like. Hmm, let's try this. That gold you just mined will be of no use just lying here. Hire workers in the village to collect it. Okay, he's done it. There's one worker. There's two workers. There's three workers. Workers are hired by the day and will stop collecting gold at night. The time can be seen on the clock. Build a farm on one of the building plots to ensure income through the night. Abbott, quota, he's done it. Excellent. The farm is under construction. Now we can lie back and... Adelbert, Adelbert. Mayor Caroline, what is the matter? Bandits, Rumpel and his gang have captured a farm and a barracks on the other side of the village. Ha ha! Take whatever you want, boys. The king seems to be busy. There's no one here to stop us. Paul, we must save Glenford. Build a barracks on the remaining building plot. We have to recruit some swordsmen. Okay. Let's drug. Drill. And we'll wait for the construction of our farm to be complete. In the meantime, if we got nothing else to do, we'll, we'll just mine some gold. We don't need to hire any more workers right now. It costs us money. I think. Building complete. The construction of the farm is complete. Plant wheat and wait for it to grow. Votive. Z. Z. K. M. Q. He's crazy. The barracks is ready. Activated to recruit some swordsmen. Every barracks controlled increases the number of swordmen you can recruit. You, I, I, I'm gonna need Chad's help for this, man. I, this is a lot of moving parts. Treaty. Polka. First unit recruitment building activated. Training a basic unit costs 20 gold. The building will now train units until you run out of gold or reach the unit limit. You can stop auto recruiting by typing zeros. I understand. Let me go states and then let me let me mine some more gold so that we can afford to uh, hire more workers, please. He's doing it. Your first swordsman unit is trained and ready. Move them out and regain control of Glenford. Recommended buildings, farms, or an archery range. Attack the blasted bandits as soon as you feel ready. Okay, we're sending our swordsmen over there. Okay, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. Mistake. Just keep typing, brother. Um, 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 uh, go, uh, go poke. There you go. Keep moving. And then clap. Why don't you move over there? And we got another one coming. Hang on. They're, they're going. What about gyms? What, gym is just hiring more workers? I don't think we need more workers right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm getting shot at, dude! Daddy, 
Okay, my, my swordsman has been killed. It's all right. Go ahead. What's what's wrong? What's what's going on? Poured? What the heck's wrong with apathy, dude? Oh, we gotta we gotta harvest the grain. Holy cow, dude! We're so rich, though. Okay, we should probably wait for more units to be ready. Is my expectation? Oh, we gotta replant the crops. Of course. What was I thinking? Okay, give me some more gold. Hang on, I'm gonna let my dude chill there for now. I'm gonna let my my swordsman chill there. I'm not gonna send him into his death. I'm not gonna type grope, okay? I'm just, I'm simply not gonna do it. I would like to build um, another building. You have some unused building plots. You could use them to construct more buildings. Oh, thank you. Let's get an archery range. That would be blade, my favorite word to type, of course. What does chat do? Just be patient, okay? We're gonna work. First, I'm, I'm glad I did the tutorial, thank God. <laughs> I, was, I would have been so confused. Remember to activate your buildings? Right, of course. It is, it's cook, serve, delicious, meat strategy gaming. You, you guys ever consider like helping out here a little bit? There we go. And then it, come down and stay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You, you just wait there for a second. We got to send the other lads back, obviously. They have, we're, we're at the cap. Okay, so we need to build a barracks. After we capture this space, we need to build a barracks. Grail me. This is a lot of gold. Valve. That word's allowed in an Epic game Store game? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> we are, obviously we're leaving ourselves quite open to a flank. Let me build a, um, here. We need to have some aggression. Let's build some cavalry. We're okay. Okay, more gold. Give me a head. I said give me a head. I didn't say anything worse than that. Can you imagine playing this online, finding yourself in, in pitched battle against, like, Mavis Beacon? Obviously, we got some problems a little further down. Let me get Harry Styles. Wipes. Place. Worth. Poles. Excuse me? <laughs> what are you trying to suggest there? Here, let's see if we can make it work versus the AI first. Skirmish. Let's do Twin Kingdoms. We'll play against Rumple on mid-hard difficulty. Sounds great. Start game. Can you believe we tried to play this without going through a tutorial first? No wonder I was confused. Freezer? I am in control right now. I can I can see in the bottom left it says I'm in control, but that may change. Do you feel in control? Oh my god, there's so many more spells. <laughs> Let me get some more workers. I'm okay. I'm okay. Just keep farming gold for now. This is the phase of the game, you know, it's it's easy. We got Morbius Sweep, we got Moons, we got J, Yeast, Cry, Fever, Lungs. First step is going to be a Barracks. We've learned from our mistake. It's important to capture space. Exhaust. Vertigo. Storage is full. Okay, beautiful. And then Alt-K. Then you're going to greed me. Chat will take control? No, that's horrendous. Let me at least get a, a start building the barracks. Next chat mode. User takes control. First user to type, type homered will take control. <laughs> oh, no. Please don't be scat dies. Please don't be scat dies. It might just take a minute. Sometimes games with Twitch integration, if you got a lot of people going at the same time, it can, <laughs> it can cause some problems. Maybe I have to hit enter? No, I think, uh... Might have taken the, uh, the plug-in offline. Might have broken the RESTful API. Do not say sausage, do not keep it going. Do not, do not keep homeward going. I think we might have to restart this one. <laughs> it is. Well, it is. Remember in Cult of the Lamb? Like, sometimes it would just take two minutes to resolve something. Let's give it a little more time. All right. Well, you know what? I got, an, I got another idea. Quit me out of this one. But I'm going to turn off fastest chatter. <laughs> and may, maybe it's just fastest chatter that's, that's half busted. So I'm, I'm going to give you the foundation to do whatever you please, okay? I'm going to try to get one defensive barracks up. 
You know what? Maybe I'd even go cavalry first if we got the money for it. I know I gotta hire some workers. Just chill, chill with me for a minute here. I was, I was in a, my life was like a movie there. This seems great. We're about to get an alt K. I'll try to build cavalry down in, in the position riot. Chat will take control. What I accomplished even less this time. Northern Lion chooses chatter. Type pick me to nominate yourself. <laughs> Ex sorry, exclamation point pick me. Exclamation point pick me. What do I do? Do I type a chatter's name? I assumed it would like show up in the on the screen. It's a lot of pressure, man. I think, I think we might have crashed it again. I don't, I don't think I have control. I'm just trying to do... You guys are typing so much. You, you know what? Of course we would have to send... We'd have to give Scath Eyes a chance. Scath Eyes. No, I think I've, I've lost control. I've lost control of the text box. All right. That's fine. We'll, we'll do some more of the campaign. I mean, if, if we could get that working, that would be so much fun. But we have a lot more left to learn anyway. I know we didn't capture that barracks, but... You're losing too many trading cards. You think I don't know that? <laughs> no! It's even worse than last time. Mods, how do we whitelist a, uh, a bot? Can we type like slash whitelist? Slash permit maybe? Slash mod? I guess that would work. Slash mod touch type bot. It should ideally be on an allow list. Okay, that would that I mean being modded, that's like an allow list. We'll give it another shot at, and see if the Twitch integration works, because I'm getting my butt kicked on in the campaign anyway. This is not how iRobot started. Stop, stop. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh! It did something! Did you see that? Maybe that was the problem. You never know. Okay, alt k me. T. Again, I'm gonna do my best to put a chatter into a good position. I'm gonna leave you in a good spot in the game, okay? It's not my intention to screw you. But also, I don't know what some of this uh, stuff does. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's for you to figure out with no context whatsoever. Look at this. Dude, I think you can see some sincerely high-level gameplay in this. I didn't realize that other real-time strategy games are actually too easy, because you can just do your mouse. You can use your mouse to do whatever you want to do. In this, like, I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be on the freaking ball, dude. Everything you do, like, nothing, nothing comes easy. We have 36 gold. Alt K me. We're just waiting for a little, oh, 58 gold. Let me get press. I'm gonna build you pawns. And there you go. I built you some, some cavalry, okay? Next chat mode. I choose the chatter. Type pick me to nominate yourself. Just give it a second. Give it a second. <laughs> I think it might be done. <laughs> what if you type? I don't have keyboard. I don't have keyboard access. I don't think adding the bot is going to help, though. It might just make the bot feel bad. Which, for human beings, can sometimes make them work harder, but... For robots, I don't know if they work like that. Maybe chat GPT-6. The words really said, come fast, huh? Like, I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> I mean, it's gonna take forever to get you into battle, but... Probably be better to have you than not have you. Whoa, 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 you gotta go to go to- oh, no! The archers will slow them down. <laughs> uh. 
brother, this shit is impossible. It's just it's not possible. <laughs> okay, run it back. I think I should split less units. It's just, like, it's probably sensible if you got a good brain. For me, I'm not sure if it's the right ticket. I think we should keep less groups. You guys look good. I'm just going to leave you there for a second, okay? You're going to go shush. And then you're going to go more to the left. Rustic me. You know what? Let me get another defend. Here we go, Rowdy. Still doing great, kid. Keep it up. Glib me. I'm not going to say that. I know you want me to say it. I will not say it. I'm, I'm, I'm sad to tell you I can't do a Curtis Blow style rap while I play this. Um, it's just, it's the, the, the brain power required is... Well, you could try. Will you try? No, I actually, I can't... Uh, I don't think I can get my brain to, to make the sounds, honestly. My name's Curtis Blow and this game is hard. I'm playing it on my keyboard. That's what I call a keyboard. It's got QWERTY. You can spell words. See, it just it, it's just not ready for it. Cause my my brain is just so it's so glycogen deficient from all the the focus that I've had to do. It's all the focus of typing plus all the focus of a real time strategy game. You've got horses. They're really neat. Watch them as they walk right down the street. So true. So true. Beautiful. See? Input. Dryer. Lydia. Tar! Call me Tar! Lydia Tar, the way the orchestra is so beautiful. Uh, be 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 brutal. Okay, very hard to banter and play at the same time. Duly noted. Tie. Win. M me. Discs me. Euros me. Ids me. I'm waiting for my spells so I can build a barracks and do some more exploration. The happy hob jerks me. <laughs> you didn't hear that. You didn't hear that, okay? Eagle me, pie me. Okay, storage is full now. We got enough, though. Let me get a cities uh, and build me um, cavalry because they're fast. Okay, start me off there. And then grower and let me get a, a farm going here daily. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Unit complete. Oh, I don't know if my golem's making it, brother. Okay, hang on. Bump me. Links. Icing. Close. Reset. UKVY. We need to hire more workers immediately. Tracked me. Devil. Visor. Turbo. Pizza. Pride. Intro. Let me get a <laughs> clay fighter. I've made too many golems. They're like, how have you not won by now? Let me get an S, Z, H, Q, E. Beautiful work. I select my path. We've already won. Team paired. We've won. We won. My chief, I failed you. I'll sh I shall find a way to make this right. I thought I was doing so badly. But we actually did really well. GG. Dude, I need to find someone to play against me online. <laughs> They're going to lose it. Uh, maybe I'm going to lose it. I don't know. This will be a, a great game to play online versus uh, other streamers. Hafu? That's like the dishwasher meme. Servers are like, no. Oh, how was your day? It was so hard. I had three tables to look after. Dishwashers talking to each other. Are you ready to fucking die tonight, brother? That's going up against Hafu in a game that is typing, which she's great at, and strategy, which she's great at. Max out the suppression bar. The battle was an astounding what the heck? This is where those greedy, selfish, good-for-nothings live. You are not welcome here. The only sovereign here that has anything to say here is King Carl. King Carl is dead. I am the ruler of Ministeria now. Ministeria now. We are dependent on their gold, Paul. Make them pay and be quick about it. Time is money. You have four days. Collect taxes from all citizens. All right.
Before we collect the taxes, we should establish our presence in the city. They'll think, they'll think twice before starting a riot when they see our soldiers. Spread your units throughout the city to suppress rebellion. Suppression reduces the spawn rate of rebels up to 50% and delays riots. Understood, sire? Excuse me, they're attacking me? Isn't that like a capital offense? Tom, our brother in arms, was violently slain by the tyrant. We must decide for ourselves, now or never. What do you mean? You attacked me with pitchforks, brother. What am I supposed to do? This is it. We've had enough. Looks like we have a riot on our hands. We'll have to quell this before we get any further taxes. It just started. I believe we are, we're, we're gathering some taxes. Certainly feel like I'm gathering some taxes right now. Let me get a control K peachy. Ooh, crisp me! Fabian. Oh, I have to knock on his door. <laughs> Q, X, Q, X. Dude, that's so good. Hey, 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 give me your lunch money, give me your lunch money. Sorry, I've just never been on the other side of that. Um, <laughs> Once more, we call on all people able to fight. Stand up for freedom, follow our call to arms. What are you gonna do, little bro? Be real. Noisy. Okay, we got all of our lads grouped again, which is probably not good, but it's good for me. We're building a farm. Fall back, we have to gather our strength. Now give me jumps again. C, 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 W, W, Q, 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 and... Oh, it's now or never. You just rioted! I know I've got to spread out to stop the riots, I just thought I could collect all the taxes in time. I guess what I'm trying to say is I thought I was built differently. Let me get a control K calmly. We got a great presence here. They wouldn't dare riot in this circumstance. I'm starting to think I might be the bad guy. Do you hear the people sing? Our time is now. Take to the streets. Who do you think you are, the Doobie Brothers? You, I'm telling you, you do not want to kill my cavalry. It will be the, the last thing you ever do. It'll be the spark that lights the whole powder keg. Okay, just chill there. You're doing great, Osha me. It's now or never, we can win this fight. Please. <laughs> so much unnecessary bloodshed. Craziest flank of all time incoming. I think we're actually fine on this one. I don't think we need to do anything too clever. There you go. And then you, you got some space now. We got some coverage. Let me get a control K horn. Let me get a control K OTOC. Let me type Navy and then we're gonna shake them down. And this should be it. He's done it. Ha ha, so much gold. <laughs> Zaza. Oh. Oh, that was tough, man. Even though Paul had done everything he was I still think I'm a I'm a bad guy. I think I'm being used by uh I'm being used by a, a, a malevolent warlord. A despot, if you will. Cade showed me a video last night. It was called Disturbing Things Caught on Camera at Disney Parks. And it got me laughing so hard, because it's like um the music in the background is like ambient horror music. Like it's the sound of like a wind rustling things and like. <sighs> but then like the, and there's a narrator and the narrator is like, but when the patrons got on Splash Mountain today, they were in for something very disturbing. Mickey's eye accident. In this video of a Disney Cruise live show, Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends come out to entertain the audience by talking, singing, and dancing. The characters all run out on stage and wave to the audience, but when Mickey takes center stage and starts talking to the audience, his eye falls out. Mickey motions to the character attendant that he needs to be escorted off stage. The other characters continue to distract the audience by dancing while Mickey sneaks off to get his eye fixed. And the first clip is literally a little munchkin 
in like one of the animatronic sections of a stage show and he's hanging out of a window going like this like he's doing he's J-O-ing but the the horror music is going on in the background and the narrator is like one of the puppets appeared to be possessed and was making a lewd gesture on stage at the Smokey's Pizza stage show at Disney California Adventure. Like, the dude is so good. And the other ones, even then, it's like, patrons who got on Splash Mountain found themselves unnerved. And the video is literally like three 16-year-old kids being like, hey, oh, the animatronics broke. None of the puppets are moving. And it gave the ride a certain sense of unease. And they're all like laughing and they're going like, hey, Squirrel, are you okay? Are you okay? In this creepy video, the animatronic characters of Splash Mountain are frozen while the ride music plays behind them. Oh my God, this is so I'm laugh, out of nowhere. Dude, this I am so squirrel. creeped out by this. Yeah. <laughs> the animals look a lot scarier and weirder when they're completely still. Got, got me really good. There was one where um, Miss Incredible tries to walk on stage and wave, but she trips on something and she falls on the ground and then her Miss Incredible face falls off and then she, she's like horrifies the children and then has to get escorted uh, off of the stage. Anyway. Ugly monsters roam the countryside of sense. Honestly, I think I have to stop. I just think my brain glycogen is gone. I think it's... I was just thinking about what it would take for me to, to succeed on this mission. And I was like, I think... I think my brain might be... I, it might be fried after two hours of, of touch typing tail. Like, I, I need to eat like a... Like a cyclist gel or something like that. I need to get, get some Gatorade G2. But this is touch type tail. Genuinely, I had an amazing time. Uh, I, I enjoyed myself immensely. It is available now. Thank you to Epic Games for the sponsorship. It's a unique style of game that like, I want to recommend it to my other streamer friends because I want to play other people online in this um, and probably be embarrassed, but it could be a lot of fun. Again, exclamation point TTT in the chat or go down to the video description and you can click the link for yourself. Otherwise, I, I had an amazing time. Thank you. Dude, these Costco steak strips is delicious. Even if I do feel like I'm eating a dog treat. We're, we're talking Kirkland beef strips. Kirkland steak strips. They're so bad for you though? How so? They're just, it's just beef. Beef plus a little bit of sugar. There's no nitrates in it. It's just probably I didn't look actually Cholesterol listen, you don't know what you're talking about. Leave it leave it to the anti-beef people. Okay, they, they got some ammunition at least Weren't you talking about processed meats or a class one carcinogen? C Costco steak strip is not a uh, it, it, That's not processed Curing something is not processing. It's not turning beef into ham. You know, that's like If something starts as a pig and then it turns into a circle of like lightly pink ham, that's processing. Turning a cow into steak is just... That's just butchering. There is no way sodium is the greatest carcinogen in food. People are eating plastic, man. I don't, I don't believe it. I simply don't believe it. People are microwaving plastic forks and knives. It does contain nitrates on the packaging. Okay, I didn't know that. Hang on. Kirkland's signature steak strips nitrate. I'm looking. They do contain sodium nitrate. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Who told me to buy the Kirkland signature steak strips? People were like, you gotta get off of the Golden Island because the Golden Island has more carbs than fat. They said, you gotta go to, you gotta get the Kirkland Signature Steak Strips. I bought them, they're delicious. It's got like number nine ingredients, sodium nitrate. It's not that big of a deal. How would you know? How would you? Well, I'm, I'm trusting the doctors. I'm not trusting a non-sub in Twitch chat. It's like when the Canadian government 
changed their uh, alcohol guidelines and said instead of one to two drinks a day, it should be one to two drinks a week. And people started getting into bargaining. And they're like, what do the scientists expect us to do? I don't think they expect you to do anything. I think they just, they're just telling you the data. People are like, really? One to two a week? How are we supposed to do it? You're like, come on. What do you think? The scientist is like paid by big sparkling water? Ah, whatever. I'll just finish these two bags and then I'll finish them quick so we get like a big dose of nitrates and then we'll probably poop them all out anyway. I got two bags. Yeah, I didn't think one bag was enough. We'll play Big Ambitions tomorrow. With an hour and a half remaining. We shouldn't play SAP. We played some SAP yesterday. But then I'm like, I don't want to play web games because the execution tier list made me want to die. <laughs> Ironically. Uh, I suppose we could do some crosswords. That's true. What, what website was I using for crosswords again? Is universal crosswords? I was. Don't get too excited. But I was also, after playing chess, I was also like, you know what? Maybe it's just because I beat my niece because she's 11 years old. It did give me a certain desire to play some more chess. Let me just leave it at that. Maybe we'll play some chess instead. Do it. Bullet me. Bullet is, is poison, but I think it's kind of great for streaming um, because you literally can't look at chat. Like, you're, you're, you're so focused on the actual gameplay. 10 minute rapid is good. Yeah, but if I ever glance to the side, there's like a bunch of people that are like, make the worst move of all time. And then if I keep reading, one person who's like a 2200 is like, I do bishop to f3. And then I look at it for a second and I'm like, fuck, they're right. Bishop to f3 is like, this is the greatest move I've ever seen in my damn life. Three minutes, maybe three minutes is fair. Because we... we I mean, let's be honest, we're not out here like really trying to impress people. Rumble me? Who's going to tell them? Rumbleverse has been dead uh, on the server level. Or as they like to say, uh, it's been sunset. <laughs> For about a month. About a month, I'd say. This is why you don't beg for a game to come back. Because everybody, well, not everybody, one third of the audience begging for chess made me never want to play chess again. It's just too much pressure, right? But then, year and a half later, I taught my niece some chess. They were playing it when we were at their house this weekend. And I, I got the bug a little bit. I got, I got bitten by the chess bug again. So we're just going to have some fun with chess, okay? We're going to play online. We're going to play three-minute games. It's very fast. But at the same time, it is also good because we can't really look at chat. I'm always tempted to look at chat at all times because they give me some of my best jokes. And we can focus on the game at hand. And it won't be too boring, okay? You can backseat me in your mind if you want. Let's, let's, let's play here. My knight is not trapped. Rumors of my knight being trapped are greatly exaggerated. Don't do this. Don't do this. Come on. Let me, yeah, yeah, let me in. You're not castling kingside on my watch, buddy. You're not castling kingside on my... And then we take this one. Where are you going to go? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm getting a little too into it. I forgot... I forgot how intense uh, the game of chess can be. We are so back. My rook! <laughs> We're... It's so over. I would, can, we, can I see how much? I'm up by five? I'm up by a rook. But it's really just five pawns. Watch this. They're, you're never going to see this coming. If you capture here, my queen just covered it on the diagonal. It's impossible to see from this distance. Okay, he saw it. We don't have control this diagonal anymore. We, we're in trouble. <laughs> we lose our rook. <laughs> ah! We lose the game? No, no, no. We win these? Seems okay to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why they wouldn't take the rook. I'm still up by three. In that case, we do this. Frick it, we ball. We're still up by 40 seconds as well. Check him. Brother, I'm in check. How do I not lose? Great question. 
We got plenty of time. Don't sweat it too much. I don't, I, like this scares, I, I, there's like some infiniticity here. You know what I mean? My rook is probably, you know what? Just save your rook and hope this doesn't lead to checkmate. That's a classic strategy. This, you can't take me because of the bishop covering. I move up here. What does he do next? He puts me in checkmate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Good start. Good start. That was so winnable, too. That's, that, that one hurts a little bit. I like to play an open game of chess. I'm not like other gamers. I like some open chess. Okay, one of these. I, I, I hate that you're playing this because I, 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 I feel a gambit coming. I feel a YouTube-style gambit coming my way. Never mind, okay? All, all's saved. <clears throat> Knight to c4. No disrespect. I Just taking a look at it right now is possibly the worst move on the board. I don't know if, if there's ever been a worse move conceivably invented, but I'm feeling pretty good about this one. <laughs> I feel like we're playing against somebody who was more on tilt than we were, which is a rarity. Um, so, it, I mean, that's the fork of the century if we could make it work. We can't yet, but with one of these we could. Or we could at least force a, a swap, which is okay. I wouldn't have done that, but what do I know, brother? <clears throat> Give me this first. Probably start with that. Move him back a little bit. Then let me get one of these. Play the rook up. Take. Queen goes down here. This is becoming quite problematic. The game is over. We're so back. Why are you fighting it? You want to just do en passant because en passant is cool. Thank you so much. Okay, there we go. The dude was throwing pieces away all game. And then he, at the end of the game, he's like, you're not going to checkmate me. You're not going to checkmate me. What's your, what's your problem? Just resign. There you go. We got, we got a win. Feels great. Playing chess live on stream while 7k people judge you is very brave. Started today's stream with a tier list of, of uh, ways to die. So I feel like this is actually... It, it feels almost sane after what we were doing before. I see what you got going here. And I want you to know I don't respect it. Um... I should have... Man, eh, maybe it's okay. I mean, we could always just do this. Sure. Probably not the way I would have done it. That's so condescending. I apologize, but... <laughs> Give me my points. Give me my points. I earned them. Give them to me. No, not this. Listen, I always, I, I'll give you H6 for free. Oh, I gave you my pawn for free. This is so much worse. I resign. What have I done? Yeah, of course I'm not going to swap that. What, what was I thinking even bringing my queen there? <laughs> I'm, I'm, okay, easy come, easy go. I resign. Okay, next game. We go again. <laughs> Holy cow. I'm always just so scared of bishop, uh, bishop c4, man. Bishop c4 passes you the boof. What would you do? I would resign. I would absolutely resign. I'm not beating the bishop c4 passes me the boof allegations, okay? Take their equipment away so their odds of launching a devastating attack are lower. Yeah, okay. Definitely would accept that. You got to take with the king. It's fine. You can't capture back or I take your bishop. We are so back. Yeah, doubled pawns are bad, but tripled pawns are insane. Tri tripled pawns are 
one of the strongest pawn structures known to man. Little known fact. I don't know what you think is going to happen there, but it's not going to go down like that. I've been placed into... Oh, no. I've been checkmated. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have left my king there. What a checkmate. Holy cow. Hello, Chibli. Hello. Chibli, do you want to... I've got an absolutely horrendous stream idea for you. Do you want to do a tier list of um, the best and worst ways to be executed? Because that's what I did today. I wouldn't recommend it personally. Is the tier list going to go on YouTube? No, probably not. It probably shouldn't have gone on Twitch on the first place. But, but here we are. Life comes at you fast. Yeah, that, that's one for the librarian. The librarian can handle the, the content guidelines on that one. My nine-month deposit with a 5.20% PA. Chip, here's the thing, okay? Everyone knows you can't time the market when it comes to stocks. But meanwhile, people who know you can't time the market when it comes to stocks are like, I know what I'll do. Instead, I'll time the uh, interest rate market. Bro, you would have to be stupid to not uh, get like a 12-month... A Treasury right now at a 5.5% uh, interest rate. You don't know. You got no idea, man. It could, could go this way. It could go that way. I bonds are like six and a half. Well, listen, I'm not a financial advisor. Your mileage may vary. You should probably be maxing out your I bonds. So basically, no one knows to do what to do. Do whatever you want. No, not like that at all. You may, you, some of you haven't been listening here, okay? You leave your... You make a plan for investing regardless of the market conditions. By the way, I mean, this is a gimme. You dollar cost average into index funds. And then, you, you know, when the interest rates go up, you dollar cost average into index funds. When the interest rates go down, you dollar cost average into index funds. It's, it's the sweet science. It's so simple. Even a baby could do it. But adults can't. Hashtag this is not financial advice. Legally speaking. You want to capture my queen? <laughs> if you want to be with me, baby, there's a price to pay. Mm, I, oh, you're going, you're, now you don't like it so much anymore, huh? You don't like it so much anymore. How about one of these then? And then how about one of these? And then how about I get, uh, well, that actually I, I executed it a little too early, but it's still an even trade. Now we just trade pieces. How are you going to protect that one, you son of a gun? <laughs> I'd like to see it. I'd like to see you try. You got, you got some real problems. Ready? You almost got your queen taken by check? Yeah, that's why I moved it. He's, he's chosen to just lose, okay? Next game. Six seconds. We're going fast. It's time for fast gaming. Fair enough. He stopped me. <laughs> okay, you got me. We, I wish if we just had, we're, our position is obviously so much better. We just ran out of time. It's okay. It happens. I'd love to see the analysis on this. People aren't going to like to hear this, but I'm telling you it's, it's the truth of the matter. You, my, well, maybe Levy would disagree, okay? But my personal two cents, if you want to be an analysis chess player, then don't play three-minute chess. Play, like, at 10 minutes, you can start to talk about analysis. It, you, it, like, playing bullet chess is like, a, or I guess we're in blitz, but it's, it's, I would call it a bad habit. It's a drug. Like, I don't think you're getting better at chess. You're getting better at, like, bullet chess. Five minutes, sure. Ten minutes, sure. Really, you should be playing, like, you know, 30 minutes or something like that. Oh, and then you just push the pawn. 15 plus 10, sure. But, like, the thing is, the reason I'm not going to play 15 plus 10 is because only people who want to get good at chess are playing 15 plus 10. I don't want to play against people who want to get good at chess. I want to play against other psychos. 
No, psychos do not play 30-second chess. Psychos play like three minutes. The thing is, we just have psycho inflation. There's even more psychos out there than there used to be. Do not Google psycho inflation. I told, uh, I told my niece when she was talking about like learning how to play chess. I was like, resist the temptation to play um, five minute, 10 minute, et cetera, et cetera, like as long as possible. Because you're going to want to. You're going to be like, oh, this seems like fun. But like the, the thing that you should do, you should train the muscle of actually having to like focus on moves and care about games. And if you make a mistake, then you like uh, 60 minutes of thinking just goes up in smoke. What's her rating? Like 300 at best. I mean, she literally just learned. She's better than Dan. No joke, she probably is better than Dan. It's not an insult. Like, <laughs> Dan is really, really bad at chess. He also, like, he should be bad at chess. He doesn't practice. Like, he doesn't want to be good at chess. This person, on the other hand, really, really wants to be good at chess. And it's, quite frankly, it's just driving me crazy. <laughs> please, please relax a little bit. He lived in a Big Brother house for 150 days. They usually have a chessboard. He could have learned. It's a, it's a classic story you hear. Man becomes grandmaster in chess, learning how to play by himself. Happens all the time. Fair enough. It's a problem. You only got four seconds, though. Like, that's... That's touchy. That's tricky. I mean, I've only got 10 seconds, but still. I think they got me. Oh. Oh. oh let's go. <laughs> Greatest draw of all time. Any predictions for Ding versus Nepo? Nope. Um... I don't know if you know this. I'm not like other 1400s. I'm a 1400 that doesn't think he knows anything about chess. So I don't I I I know that they are both um great chess players. That much is a given. And beyond that, I know I know very little honestly. I'm going to guess that a meteor will strike next not it won't strike. I want to be very clear here. Meteor is not going to strike the event, but it's going to strike just outside of the event. And then um, the organizers are going to be like, whoa, that was really scary. So they're going to postpone it. And I, I have $1,500 on that exact outcome on DraftKings right now. So if that comes true, I mean, I don't think I have to tell you that drinks are on me. A lot of people would say, like, the odds of it aren't good. I'm here to tell you the odds. It's 50-50. It happens or it don't. It is a great profile photo, right? Sometimes I feel like our daughter, like, you know, when you see her every day, you're like, oh, she hasn't changed that much. But then when you see a photo that's from, like, a couple years ago, you're like, never mind. I take it back. She's like DJ Khaled. I changed a lot. Where you going, brother? Ooh, over there, huh? Mm, couldn't be me. I see you're, you're going to take my pawn, and I'm honestly quite content. Because watch this. Surely, the, okay, they've resigned. That was an okay game. 150. I got 10 more in me. I don't know how to play against bishop c4, man. I don't know how to play against bishop c4. Just close me up. Close the game up completely. Oh, my God. But now I have to move my king. <laughs> I psych myself out every time there's bishop c4. This must be the most powerful opening in chess. I've already lost my ability to castle. 
Definitely need to kill this bishop. This bishop's got to go. <laughs> it's pretty heinous. Okay, then you go here. I'm forced to go back, because if I go here, then you just take with the rook, and then the, the onslaught begins. I gotta start playing bishop c4, man. It's, it's literally overpowered. It's too powerful for words. Mm, I'm inclined to back up. I think I need the help. This is pretty devastating. I have to go back here. You take. I can't take with the bishop because my king is pinned. I mean, that might get the job done too, quite frankly. You ever consider turning your bishop into a pawn? You think the devs should nerf bishop c4? I mean, if they care about game balance. Then I would say that's like a safe bet. They may not, though. For me, it's just like, it's no fun playing the game when bishop c4 is like so overpowered in the current meta. But like some other people, I don't know, they're a little different. They, they, as soon as they start playing in a game, they go, okay, icy veins. What's like the new hotness for this? Can I get icy veins to tell me what a tier one opening is? And they go, oh, bishop c4 is literally has a 99, has a 99% win rate. Oh, I can't do it anyway because I'm pinned. Okay, don't, don't be as stupid as you think. Wait a minute, I just moved my protection off of this thing. Why don't they just take it? Why don't they just take it? Oh, stream sniper. I resign. That was bad. Don't play bishop c4. I'm going to lose my fucking mind. It was like that for like three turns. <laughs> Is that, was that wrong? Oh my, I was just going to say this knight is like getting too powerful. Like, what do I do about that? This guy's kind of crazy mode with it, huh? Yeah, I feel like knight to f5 is kind of devastating. He, he's a knight main. Working on this knight main. What's messed up is like, I feel like his position is like totally fine. Considering he's moved the knight 15 times by move 16... It definitely feels like I should be in a worse position. But I'm not. I would love... Oh, but if you take that pawn, he forks me. Just think about your moves for more than half a second, man. It's okay. All's not completely lost. He really went for that one, huh? I'm going to level with you. I'm still not sure this... Oh, I let him fork me again. <laughs> it's not... Well, I let him just take the rook again. Oh, no, no, no. What was I thinking? I'm going to relearn the basics a little bit. Oh, it's, it's Bishop C4, man. Mm -mm. That's just three minute chess. It's just the it's just the way three minute chess goes. Why is everyone so upset about it? Maybe it's just half a meme. I know you're here, chess.com. I'm not trying to put you on blast or anything like that. But like I follow you on Twitter. Why are there so many memes that are like your opponent, my opponent's brain on the London system, and then it's like a melted piece of American cheese or something like that? I don't all, they're all, I mean, if you want to make some memes, don't get me wrong. We, we all, we have a lot of fun here with the memes. But like, how about my opponent, my opponent's brain when they use the modern opening? The London is boring? Doesn't seem that boring to me. I'm, I'm having a good time. Modern is based. Oh, my, my bishop, normal. Dan's game. My bishop, uh, Japan, bad chest. My, my bishop, uh, Fianchetto, bad chest. I know this seems a little bizarre. That's, that's what we in the business call a, a Magnus Carlsen type move. 
look at that. No opponent could possibly process what we've got going on right here. I will say my, my meme is someone plays uh, D4 against me. I am very Dan's game about that. Someone plays E4 against me. I am very... What a pawn storm. Maybe, maybe they're actually doing the right thing by having me like, just feel content to completely open up my queen side here. I don't know. Is it ever sensible to lose pawns on purpose <laughs> like this? <laughs> Probably not. I wouldn't do that personally, but that's just because I enjoy not losing. <clears throat> Sam Mazone, great game. Enjoy prom. Well, that's enough chess for today. Let me see what's going on here. Hello. Are you ready to stream? Yo! My wife said, for so far, our cash back from Costco, $14.87. Ooh! You know what that means? The executive membership chatting, tick, 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 $120 a year. Tick, 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 ten, divided by 12 months. Tick, 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 $10 a month. That means four eighty seven dollars profit, baby, right off the top. Does anyone know? Do you need to... Do you need to declare uh, capital gains on that? They literally paid us $4.87 to shop there. As long as you ignore all of the money that we spent getting the 2% cash back to begin with. You know what's another... Uh... Hang on, I'm typing I am pogging, by the way. Um, real Chad move from Costco. I should throw in a slash marker here, by the way. Slash marker. Chess. End. They have gift certificates for sale at Costco. Two $50 gift certificates to Swiss Chalet. 80 bucks. Two $50 gift certificates to the driving range. 75 bucks. You can also buy an executive membership gift certificate. You know how much it costs? 120 bucks. They don't have to discount the damn membership. <laughs> The demand and the supply are in perfect harmony together. They're not offering you a discount. I am pogging, by the way. You are? Yeah. We cleared the cash back threshold. Plus, I love to shop for stuff at Costco. It makes my lunches and dinners so much easier. I mean, lunches and breakfasts. I mean, I'd be snacking like crazy lately, too. They're not going to sponsor you? I don't need a sponsorship. I do, it, I do it for free. Anyway, I'll send you over to my wife's stream. Let's build some momentum tomorrow. Maybe we'll play some big ambitions. <laughs> and I'll not do an execution tier list. Not be horrendous at chess. And I'll see you then. Later. Ryan is pogged up for $18. I mean, fourteen dollar eighty seven cents cashback. You gotta appreciate small things like Ryan in order to find happiness in the world. They might be like, "Oh, you know, you could be like me and be like, ah, that's nothing, you know. That's uh, that's two Starbucks coffee, and just be like whatever and not find it, um." you know, special, but look at my husband, he's so appreciative, he's so, um, he's like, Poggy, cash back, Poggy, $14, who cares, cat Poggy, you gotta marry a guy like that, find happiness in small things, I said a good things about you, Fourteen dollar is a small thing. Yo, that's like if you keep up with that pace. Dude, that's one bubble tea.
<laughs> no, you're bubble tea? I don't buy bubble tea. You don't buy bubble tea, but I buy bubble tea. Yeah. That's like one bubble tea. One bubble okay, tea. I will marry Ryan. S sorry, he's taken. One Break. bubble tea a month. A month. That's pretty good. One free bubble tea a month. Is that good? Honestly, it should be like one free bubble tea a week. How am I gonna survive one bubble tea a month? Who do you think you are, man? One bubble tea a month? You expect me to just drink one bubble tea a month? Can't do that. It's like, if you don't intake enough bubble tea, I become un-Asian. <laughs> you need to... You need to... It's like a fuel, Asian fuel. I need the Asian fuel to be keep Asian. Or I become non-Asian. Ryan, I folded all your laundries, by the way. You better be pogging that shit up. Because I it took me an, a freaking an hour. It was like three loads of laundry. And I folded all that up, put that in like so nicely, neat and nice in your hamper. But I did feel bad when I was folding Ryan's laundry. Apparently, so y'all know how Asian people, we don't stink, we don't sweat. It's because like actually we're, we're missing this gene that makes human stinky. I forgot what it's called, like CR111 or something like that. It's, it's like a part of like a DNA code. Um, on the other hand, Ryan might have like uh, triple the amount <laughs> of like the... Maybe Ryan has like three CR111 than uh, average. Because like I felt bad and I was going to look it up. But if you guys know how to remove the armpit stain was it to rob lemon or something like all your t-shirts that is not black has like a huge armpit stain and i felt bad i didn't i didn't go like ew that's gross i felt like it was more like i felt bad because like i would never have that in my lifetime because i don't sweat but then like i bet ryan was wearing deodorant and everything or maybe it gets created by the deodorant. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. It's it's like that DNA code is missing in my DNA. So I don't know what this thing is. The fact that I know is that Ryan's clean t-shirt's got huge armpit stains. And um, I, I need to look up how to remove those. Yes, as I walk through the valley where I harvest my grain, I take a look at my wife and realize she's very plain. That's just perfect for an Amish like me. You know we shun fancy things like electricity. I don't remember all the... I, I don't remember the whole thing. I ain't ever punched a tourist even if he deserved it. An Amish with a tood, you know, that's unheard of. But I keep something and something so long that even Ezekiel thinks that my mind is gone. I'm a man with a plan, I'm into discipline. Got the Bible in my hand and a beard. Apparently I do remember the whole thing.